Hey, y'all. Well, there's only a couple of days left, and we're going to pop the cork on the champagne and celebrate who they decided, as I said before, long ago to put in. Be the next face sitting behind the desk known as the United States President. So, I have some little interesting things and some thoughts on what is coming up. And as you can see, I start this off with 2016 election prediction. An analyst that has boasted a 100% accuracy calls the race for Clinton. This, this being Moody's. Now you can come on down here to read Nate Silver polling analyst and statistician, um, <clears throat> says that Moody's Analytics, financial firm, with the presidential prediction model has never missed the mark. Goes on to say that Hillary will win the election, defeating Trump rather soundly. And they're a key, Mo it's reminding you Moody's is a key player in the U.S. economy. They provide credit ratings, which affects the value of stocks, bonds, and other instruments. And it also goes on to say that ever since 1980, they have issued a prediction in the election. So they're going all the way back to 1980 and saying since those predictions began for them, they have had them correct every year. Well, your mark can always be brought in with a loss, and then you would no longer be undefeated. But if that is even true, they have hit home runs every time for an election. Moody's prediction is rather overwhelming. She would get 322 electoral votes. That's pretty well a landslide. <clears throat> of course, Moody's does not factor in personal characteristics. It mainly relies on economic and historical factors at the national and state level. Oh, I will put this link. Uh, usually I'll leave links on my videos, so I will include this so that you can read the article in completion yourself if you choose to do so. But, that is one thing I wanted to bring to light if you had not seen this article, that someone is already, with a supposed accuracy of 100%, has already called it for Clinton, and they are a big player in the economy. Now, <clears throat> I'm a little disappointed in this guy. I am subscribed to him, but I lost faith in him quite some time ago. Um, I, I like the fact that we know about Bohemian Grove now and stuff, but that's been, you know, quite some time back that that was exposed, and he takes credit for that. But, um, you know, since he subscri I subscribed to him, all his videos have come up on my page and stuff. I see their titles and junk, and, uh, he puts out quite a lot of, um, for those of you that like him, sorry, but he does put out quite a lot of things that don't happen, which mildly termed can be called BS. So, to me, this is his latest BS here. Roger Stone, I also call BS on him also. He's involved in, in a lot of this, uh, and I do not endorse Hillary Clinton at all. 
but he's he's involved with him in, in many of the uh, wild non-factual accusatory ideas that they put forth in some of these videos so yeah, they're going out and they're saying she's going to lose the election and that's just what what I go to say Alex Jones was against Donald Trump in the beginning he was for Ted Cruz and then somewhere along the line he flipped over to the Trump not sure exactly why <clears throat> He can say different reasons in his videos, but you'll never really actually know the truth of why. But these are others. You know, I showed you Moody's calling it for her. Well, good old Roger Stone and Alex Jones have, have called it that they're going to lose. Um, she's going to lose and Trump is going to win. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, <clears throat> this bothers me a lot. I put a lot of thinking into this. These, these people that say God is going to allow Trump to defeat her and and a lot of them use the word prophecies. They're giving prophecies given to them by the Almighty in dreams, visions. And you can see this is just page one from a simple search on YouTube of Trump prophecy. Prophecy, 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 prophecy. You get the picture. Well, this, you know, some of these titles, you know, encompass the whole idea, such as uh, Sid Roth's video here. More Christian prophets confirming Trump is our new president. And this they've linked in here. Donald Trump is the 45th president. He is Cyrus, the 45th chapter of Isaiah, 45th chapter of Isaiah, 45th president. Now, now, my question is going to be, what are these people going to do? If this election, and I feel that it will, turns out in Donald Trump's defeat. Because I've said before, the votes don't count. Trump has already plainly told you the system is rigged. The voting's rigged. Of course, he puts it in a different way than to say, I'm supposed to lose. He puts it that if I lose, it's rigged. You know, he makes you think that if he wins, it's, it's not. Just like the polls, whenever he's behind, they're rigged. But when he's ahead, he talks about being ahead. And then there's no mention of a rigging. Okay, so that... If he is defeated, what are all these people going to do when they have brought God into the equation and said they got the information from him? God is infallible. He does not make mistakes. So how are they going to how are they going to get out of it? Are they going to say, "Oops, he changed his mind at the last second?" Oops, I must not have understood it correctly. That's a serious business when you start saying you have got the information from heaven and the Almighty. And this is just like I said, page one. 
you could keep going and going and going and seeing more and more and more. But that is what bothers me, not so much as, as the information that they put out and the reasons that they put it forth and the substance that's inside their video. I'm concerned for the people themselves having brought the name of our Lord into this equation that they have gotten confirmation that Trump's going to win and giving you reasons what what you know where they got it in a vision a dream a, a chapter of the Bible that was verified to them and boy I think they're biting off some trouble by doing that and it, it should be interesting I mean they could decide to put him in but I'm sticking with what I've said years ago that these leaders are chosen years and years in advance and this is all a script they're playing it out just like that so-called assassination attempt at the Trump rally that was an assassination attempt I was just some guy in there, you know, that didn't like him, had a sign, anti-Trump sign. Supposedly, he's a registered Republican. All right? Now, whether he was planted in there or not is beside the point. The point is he had no weapon on him or nothing. It was not an assassination attempt, whether it was an attempt just to disrupt or not. The point is the headline came out, you know, real quick after that, He's hustled off the stage, old Donald is hustled away, possible assassination attempt. Well, it's hard to walk something like that back when you've already said it because, you know, people, people have then took a bite of the apple. They've done got the poison already. So then it comes out a retraction later on. Oh, no assassination attempt. Sorry. And then you even go to Mr. Sean Hannity of Fox News, who's a big proponent of Trump's, pushing it, pushing him nightly. And he puts out a false story. And then a day or so later, whoopsie doopsie, folks, I gotta apologize to you. What I told you was not true. So that that's irresponsible journalism. It's you know, you can call it yellow journalism, whatever you want. I call it lying. And I call it doing it on purpose. It's psychological warfare. Just like this guy here, Steve Pachinik. Folks, there is not a soft coup going on. This guy here messes with people's head. That's what his specialty is, psychological warfare. And this is an interview with Alex Jones, so he's tied up in it with someone whose expertise is psychological warfare because he's having him, you know, on as a guest. And Pachinik would have you believe there's a coup going on to, you know, prevent her from winning and save the nation. And then he would even bring Assange into it and say he's working with him, which you can listen to an interview with Assange and. And basically, that contradicts what Pajenik even says. So, this guy's just messing with your head. He's trying to make some money. So, you do what you got to do at the voting box if you care to vote. My advice to everyone is just trust Jesus and trust our Father in heaven. But no matter what, is going to come in the future, no matter which one of them they show in the White House after these numbers come out and they certify everything and broadcast who is the new boss, that you trust God, you trust Jesus to take care of us in any situation, no matter what it is, and everything will be fine. I'll talk to you all soon.